so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create this lace packaging in the blender with the help of the cloud simulation so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and here you can see guys this is my final render and if i will show my project file so project file here you can see okay so now i'm just going to show you how you can create this so now let's start a tutorial so first of all i'm just going to uh, start a new file so here you can see guys here we have a new project file so first of all i'm just going to rid of this cube pressing the delete then i will just move my front view and after that i'm just going to add one plane here pressing the shift a and after that i'm just going to uh, open my plane setting and from the align section i will change word as a view so it will automatically uh, rotate according to your view and i'm just going to scale this plane something like that i think that's look fine to me and little bit that okay okay that's look fine and after scaling you have to just uh, apply your scale pressing the control a yeah that's look fine then i'm just going to uh, switch my viewport setting mode from the here and then i will just go my material section and from the material section i will add one new material and now i'm just going to add one texture here so here you can see so i'm going to use this uh, texture this is the front one and this is the back one okay and you can also download these texture from the uh, internet this is free to all click on my base color then i will just add the image texture and i'm just going to uh, add this same uh, texture which is i have shown you from the my element section i'm just going to add this one so now we have our texture so first of all i'm just going to switch my uv editing section and then i'm just going to front view again and i will just press the z and i will switch my material preview okay so right now it's looking too much stretch so i think that's look fine to me so after that i will press the u and from the uv mapping section i will click on the project from the view and then i'm just going to scale this mapping something like that i'm just going to quick this process okay so here you can see i have i perfectly aligned these uvs according to our uh, texture okay and that's look fine to me so now i'm just going to my 3d view and from here i'm just going to edit mode of this plane then i'm just and i'm just going to subdivide this plane uh at least 30 time okay that's look fine to me and then i'm just going to uh, extrude this little bit pressing the e and then i'm just going to extrude little bit yeah that's much fine okay so then i'm just going to select these faces which is i have extrude and i'm just going to select this top faces and these bottom faces as well yeah that's look fine then i'm just going to extrude these faces pressing the alt e and here you will see the extrude along the normal i'm just going to extrude it yeah i think that's fine to me now we can do a little bit more yeah that's fine okay and now i'm just going to repeat the same process to my back texture as well so i'm just going to skip this process because i have already shown you in my front view as well okay so i'm just going to skip this so now i'm just going to add the texture in those edges which is we have extrude so for that i'm just going to my uv reading section and now i'm just going to my front view i'm just going to enable my transparency view and going to select the all faces then i will press the u project from the view and then i'm just going to move it and keep it here and do a little bit of scale and same thing i will repeat with this part as well then i will do u project from the view and i'm just going to same thing yeah that's look fine to me and here you can see we have a good texture here as well okay so now i'm just going to uh, add the cloud simulation in my um, plane so for that i'm just going to switch my uh, physics tab and from the here i'm just going to add the cloth okay and after that i'm just going to my pressure section from the here and then i'm just going to add the pressure value 3 and before playing your animation make sure you decrease your gravity value from the field weight and then i'm just going to rotate this to my 90 degree something like that and here you can see if i will play the animation so it will look like this and that's look fine to me okay and here you can see that texture is going to flip so we have to just flip this texture so for flipping this texture we have to just uh, go to my zero frame first of all and we have to just select this texture from the here can just select the here something like that and then i'm just going to the uv reading section and going to flip this texture something like that minus one okay 
and here you can see right now you can see the texture is flip but if i will play the animation it's gonna be in the right direction here you can see okay that's look great and you can pause your animation where you find your uh, packet is looking realistic okay and i think that's look fine to me so now i'm just going to apply this cloth simulation from my modify section and here you can see now we don't have any animation so first of all i'm just going to flip this on 180 degree something like that okay i'm just going to rotate it in front view as well and then i'm just going to add the one subdivision surface modifier for adding the more smooth and uh, shade smooth as well and i think that's look little stretch so we need to scale it yeah that's look fine okay and after that we can add the camera so so after that we can add the lighting in our scene and we can add the camera and we can do multiple uh, copies of these lays so i'm just going to skip this process i'm just going to uh, show you the directly the final one okay so yeah so after that it will look like this okay and if i will play if i if i will hit the f12 so it will look like this where you can see guys that's look cool to me so that's how you can create a lace packaging in the blender with the help of the cloth simulation i hope now you get some idea how you can create some packaging how you can create some chips packaging so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also and uh, if you have any queries then let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply your comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys